It's hard to talk about why I make art. Talking is so cerebral, while the process of making art is so intuitive and physical. You put on music, you take a paintbrush, you load it up with color and splash it on. And then you come in with detail, and you back off only to come in again. It's the physicality, the connectedness of coming in and out, of adding and subtracting, of letting it flow. There's a kind of confidence which, as I've gotten older, has come clearer. A confidence is all about the dance. And there's no right way to do it if there's only yourself, how you feel, how you see it, and how you explore it. It isn't right or wrong, it just is. The more confident I am, the more I can put down a gesture and know that the gesture not only catches what is outside, but catches what's inside. I wonder, I've, I've been asked what inspires my art. And I think it's my childhood that inspires it. I love to play, and play is the grand ingredient in art. I love the back and forth. I love the energy. I love playing with my girlfriends and delving into the feminine experience. I love making memories and the adventure. I draw over and over on that internalized journey. Some of it is joyful and some of it is sad. It's the full banquet of being a woman, of seeing the world through a woman's eyes through my eyes. My parents were very adventurous. They lived outside of the box and gave me the desire, the spirit, and the confidence to try and do the same thing. I, like all kids, wanted to belong, to fit in, but mostly I rebelled and searched for my own individual path as I had seen them also do. I think that it's essential if you're going to be an artist and you're going to try to create art. Because if you live too much in the box, you're not going to question or explore or look inside yourself to find the authentic response, your real passion. If you're too in the box, your imagination is vulnerable. It's vulnerable to group approval and it's usually ducks down and hides rather than stands up defiantly. And proudly. When I was 12, my parents took my brother and me on a trip to Europe for a year. European women were more comfortable in their skins, and they lived in a culture that believed that art was wonderful. During the trip, I discovered how isolated I felt in my small and often small minded hometown, and how free I felt in this world of art, culture, and difference. The museums were filled with passionate stories. Cathedrals and mosques were radiant with tiles and glass, and the countryside was a host of ancient aqueducts and castles. Beautiful statues adorned the gardens. Nudes were running free all over the towns, the cities, and the parks. I think at least for 30,000 years, mankind has expressed his experiences in art, and this art is the connection that glues us to the past and to the future.